Perfect. All right, so what we did here, I need to link to my top tier hub article titled, if you want to rank on Google in 2023, you have to incorporate content hubs into your blogs, into your articles, into your website. If you don't, you will not compete. I've seen it so many times on forums. People say, I've written 100 blog posts in the last year. Why is my website not gaining traffic? We look at it. There's no content hubs. There's no logical progression of thought, of structure on these websites. So a content hub does all these things. So in this video, I'll talk about what content hubs are, how to do it, how they can benefit your website, and why it matters for SEO. And I'm going to give you the tips and tricks and the secrets I use with ChatGPT to speed up my workflow, to make things faster, and to provide consistency across the board. We might as well jump right into it. So this is the behind the scenes look at bopple.com. I'm doing an annuity hub. So I'm gonna show you exactly what this means. So we have three columns. We have tier three, we have tier two, and we have tier one. What the heck is going on here? Well, let's look. So we might as well jump into a blog post. Boom, this is the website where I'm doing a thousand blog posts in 2023. I have a video on it, but what we're talking about here is how do I interlink content hubs? So the tier two article is how do annuities work now we have all of these under it we have five through 18 so that's about 13 is that 13 articles underneath of it they all tie together in a very specific manner which i'm about to show you they all also point back to the tier two article so let's look this article we just jumped into is row five what is the accumulation period for annuities so here's the article da, 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 da. we're going down immediately on all these tier three articles, we are going to have a pushback to the tier two article, how do annuities work? If you're interested in learning more about the basics of annuities, check out our guide on how do annuities work. Our tier two article is how do annuities work? Every article, we could jump into any one of these and they're all going to have a variant on pushing back to the tier two article. That's step number one. I have ChatGPT create the variants for me. I'm going to show you how to do that later in the uh, article or this video rather. So check it out. If you're interested in learning more about the basics, blah, 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 check out our guide. Uh, want to understand how annuities fit into your retirement? There's variants in between these. There's different sentences. Look, this is important. We don't want to copy and paste each one the same. Let's make it, we have tools to do it. If you're curious about the different types of annuities available, our article, blah, 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 is a great place to start. I will show you how to do that later. But the point is the structure of this thing. Every one of these tier threes needs to point back to the tier two. And it goes further. Let's keep going with it. So let's jump to what is the accumulation period, that top one. At the bottom, at the bottom of the article, I also point to two other articles. We're going to point to our downline and our upline is what I call them. So what the heck does that mean? This article needs to point to annuity certain. Does it? It does right there, boom. And it also needs to point to the one above it in the tier three, but there's nothing above it. So you swing around to how to complain against insurance companies, blah, blah, blah. And there it is. So let's look at a different example. Let's look at a different example. Let's jump into bonus annuities. I know it's not the most riveting concept. I get it, but the concept works. Look, there's the point to our tier uh, two, right? It's different, ready to dive into the world of annuities. It's different because we had ChatGPT do it, but I want to show you be very clear about this. So we are talking about this one here. Bonus annuities needs to point to split annuities as well as how to understand strategy spreads and annuities. Split annuities, how to understand spreads and annuities. If you like this blog, check out these articles. It doesn't have to be too complicated, but make sure you do it. I do it at the end of the articles because Google sees as you progress through an article, look, this is on um, Google's, quali what is it called? Their guide. Um, anyways, we'll get into that later. But as you progress through an article, it becomes supplemental information. Google understands things down here are not as important as things up here. That That is common sense, and that's what they say. So it goes to reason that we are going to point to the tier two article higher in the article, and we're going to give people the option after they're done reading to jump to you know other tier threes in a logical fashion. We have just tied all of these tier threes together, boom, in that manner at the bottom, and each and every one of these, we can jump on to any of them. In the beginning of the article, we have an opportunity for people to jump to the article above it. But here's where it gets cool. Let's jump into the article above it. How do annuities work? This is our tier two master, I call it you know, a tier two master policy in a way. 
we are not going to link anything up here quite yet. Eventually we will. We are going to have an article named What Are Annuities? And all of these tier two articles, check this out. This is total transparency on what I'm writing um, in my structure. Um, but I'm not concerned about anyone ripping it off because I think the frequency of what we're doing it in our double EAT is fine. We'll do just fine regardless. But all of these are tier two articles, which will eventually, in the same manner tier three relates to tier two, will relate to tier one. All of these tier two will link to each other, just as I showed you with tier three. And they'll also point to our main article, what are annuities. So all of a sudden we have a nest within a nest, um, like nested articles, right? So let's jump back to this one. How do annuities work? Here we go. I want to show you. We don't have the push to the tier one article yet because we work backwards. We start at tier three. We go to tier two. We do it to tier one. There's a reason for this, and I'll show you why. But coming down here, I had ChatGPT do this automatically for me. Insane. So further reading on annuities. Want to learn more about annuities? We have many articles to help. Um, if you have questions, reach out. So that's our contact for it. But everything here, all of this was pushed out by ChatGPT. And why is that special? Because look, it automatically embedded hyperlinks to my downline articles. Annuity certain. How do lo uh, lottery annuities work? Split annuities, bonus annuities. So effectively what we've done, we've taken this article and it points to every single one of these articles as supplemental information. Everything connects. Now here's the fun part. We get to use ChatGPT to do this quickly for us. Here's the prompt. I'm going to have it in um, the description of the YouTube video. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it takes time to kind of coerce it. So let's try. Uh, this time we're going to have to coerce it. I have done this many, many times and sometimes it works off the bat. Um, it's kind of crazy. Uh, make sure to have the links in the body of the CTA, not outside. Perfect. All right, so what we did here, I need to link to my top tier hub article titled Alternative to Annuities. So Alternative to Annuities is a different tier two article, right? Alternative to Annuities here. I have one, two, three, four, five other articles right here we will need these unique things. So what it does is want to explore more retirement options, check out our guide on alternative to annuities. I click this button, it is a live link. We provided the upline, we provided the alternative to annuities article. This is the same exact one. All we have to do now is copy and paste these into a Google doc. And I'll tell you why we do a Google doc. Let's do a new one. We do a Google doc because once I don't like uh, the markup, behind the scenes markup that uh, ChatGPT does to things. In other words, if you copy and paste directly from ChatGPT, sometimes it has like weird HTML stuff. Let's not do that. So you, let's redo. I paste it into here. You see the background's gray. You control A, and then you control whatever that button is above the enter key. Boom, it makes it all regular. Now all I have to do is copy and paste this into these articles right here. Um, let's jump and I've already done it. I've already done it. And here it is. If you're interested in exploring more retirement income strategies, don't miss our comprehensive guide on alternatives to annuities. Easy peasy. That wasn't too hard. So there is the prompt. Then I asked it, make sure to have links in the body of the CTA, not outside. It spit it out. They're all variants, no duplicate content. It's a little pet peeve of mine, but if we have the, you know, AI tools to do it, why don't we just do it? All right, this next portion is tricky. It's not perfect, but this is the goal. Um, remember this article, this one here, how do annuities work? Okay, this is a tier two article, right? These need to be linked to from this article. So how do we do it? I did it with ChatGPT, kind of similar to how we did it before, but it's more complicated and you need to coerce it a little bit more. So further reading on annuities, what is the accumulation period? It has a clickable link. Like I said, all of this from here to there, all of these are the downline articles, the tier three articles, all of it. And it links to like a chapter in a book. How we do that is with ChatGPT, and here it is. Um, write a blurb, including the keywords of the URLs, suffix as h2 header. Bottom line is I'll have this in the description. Um, this, like I said, is experimental. So let's, let's see what it spits out. So immediately stop generating if it doesn't give you what you want. Say, 
so look what it did. To learn more about the accumulation period for annuities, visit the bobble.com website. It is the appropriate appropriate URL, not the best anchor tag. So say rewrite and make the anchor tag or anchor text pertain to the keyword of the specific H2 you are writing. Let's try again. I have yet to find a prompt that does this perfectly off the bat. If anyone is able to figure that one out, put it in the comments. That would be cool. Is that what I requested? It did it again. My apologies. It seems I misunderstood your request. So it's a robot. We're just talking to a robot. How about that? Who would have thought? All right. Um, let's try again. Rewrite and make sure to only have the clickable links with words that are the keywords of that H2. I don't know. Let's just try to force it. I mean, I've done it in the past. Sometimes it spits out perfect. Sometimes it doesn't. We're, we're learning together here, people. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. Finally. My goodness. Not perfect, but this definitely expedites things. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. What I like is that we are pushing to... So look, I click here. Okay, great. It goes to the right page. I don't like how it says page on the bobble.com website. That's ridiculous. Um, we could just put a period here. A little revising on that one. But this one's great. I wish all of them were like this one. Let's say, let's copy and paste. So it says an annuity certain is a type of annuity, but that's the clickable link. The keyword is the clickable link. Maybe we can say, uh, rewrite them all and emulate this style of anchor tag text and URL. Copy and paste. Let's see if it does it. The other ones were fine, right? Terrible. So we're wrestling with a, uh, a computer here, right? And uh, yeah, you have to take what you can get sometimes. But it did well. It did well here and here um, on the previous prompt. That's really good. All right, so the first one threw me off. That one I don't like so much. Um, but this is good. I would delete these sentences here to learn more about annuities. Certain visit that. That's ridiculous. We don't need that. Um, visit that page. Chop that off. This is good. The keywords matter. These push down line to the tier three articles, right? These would be in how do annuities work, pushing down to here. Um, that saves a lot of time. Instead of having to write this content, let alone interlink it all, it does it for you automatically. Now jumping back to Bopple's, you know, master sheet, uh, check it out. If you wanna make something like this, I have a video on it already. Um, this is just one tab. Look down here, there's so many tabs. Um, this is one of many that we're going to write out. Look, and it goes on and on and on. I think we're going to write 200 blog posts on annuities themselves. But if you want to learn how to quickly do this, I have a, a video on it already, so I'm not going to waste time here. But what are we going to talk about next? Let's do a visualization of content hubs. Um, so if you don't get it by now, this is going to drive it home, and then I'm going to give you one other tip, and then we'll get out of here. So here we go. I've got my writing pad. Let's do it. So the visualization... You have a tier one article. We haven't written that one yet. Then we have a bunch of tier twos. Each tier two, I mean, we had one case. What was it? Five, five tier threes under it. Okay. And each of these, you know, looks like an octopus as well. Each of these tier twos need to link to each other. But before we do that, we write the tier threes first. You write it. And then after they're all written, check mark means written, then you link them. You reciprocate links. This links to this. This one also links to this. So the end ones are kind of tricky. But if you have a middle one, you reciprocate links. This to this. Uh, this to this. Then each one links back to the tier two article. Right? All of them link to each other as well as back to the tier two article. Then I like having the tier two link back to each one of them. So everything is connected. Then you have you, you replicate this process. This one has, say, three sub-articles. They link to each other. This links to that one, that one. They all link up, and that one links down. 
you could continue this process. You can go down and down and down and down. Um, it's bad practice to go down too far because if this is, say, the home page um, over here, then it's one click, it's two click, it's three click to get down here. You don't want to go much further than three clicks. Um, but look, in a matter of a minute, we've jumbled up this whole screen. Not bad, right? All right, if that wasn't enough, here is a good visual. It's not chicken scratch like me. Uh, so the pillar content would be the tier two article in our case. So tier two being here, how do annuities work? The tier two article uh, has different portions in it where say jogging types points to the jogging types article. Um, it may talk about jogging types a little bit, but it doesn't go into depth about it. It just points to the resource where it's just like a chapter in a book, right? The thing I would add here is jogging types needs to then connect to other articles here, as I showed you. Tier three, these are tier three's clusters. The jogging benefits points to jogging mistakes. It reciprocates jogging mistakes, points to jogging benefits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but that is a good visual. Okay, I promised a tip, and here is the tip. It's called gap content. You are going to have to write articles that you may not rank for. I know that I'm not going to rank for, say, this one. How do annuities work? I might not. I might never rank for it, and that's okay because I know I have to still talk about it to show Google I am the the expert in this. If you are an annuity expert, you're going to write about the definitions of annuities. I'm not going to rank for what are annuities, but if I tie it together, I'm going to rank for these tier three articles. That's where the money is right here. And as these grow, these will gain some juice too. Eventually, tier one articles might make it, but you need to have gap content, gap articles that you know your niche talks about, regardless if you can rank or not. But work backwards, tier three to tier two to tier one. And make it happen i have other videos like i said throughout the video i have awesome videos on like total transparency on the a thousand blog posts i'm doing um, we're up to i think 225 blog posts right now um, i also have other ones on content hubs how to build out a spreadsheet quickly to work upon so hope you liked the video and i'll catch you on the next one